Okay, sir. Well, um, hold on, hold on. We have a. Oh. You can actually come up here. I'm fine. Oh, no, the format of this event is that you have to come up over here. So, if you want to ask a question, please come up here. Okay, let me just ask the audience. Be as respectful to the questioner as people here were. I disagree with me, but respectful to me. Okay. Thank you. I know a number of the adults in this room here, and I think everyone that I know has a full-time job in the field where they have expertise. My question to you is, you spoke about that you have expertise, you've been working, reading in this field for a long time, you threw out a lot of numbers, facts, that we don't have the data in front of us to challenge or not. My question to you is, do you have a full-time job and a full-time professorship at the University in America where we have hundreds and thousands of colleges, undergrads, grad schools? And if not, does that say something about your character? Do not the universities believe that you are intellectually dishonest? It's a question. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to listen to this, Joe. I don't, um, <laughs> if you were to ask me whether I thought it was a relevant question, I would say no, but... We're going to your credibility. But I, no, that's, okay, I said, I said, but I'm happy to answer the question. As was said at the beginning, I received my doctoral degree from Princeton University. I've written now six books, I'm finishing up a seventh book. One of my books, The Nazi Holocaust, was named the Notable Book of the Year. Oh, you have to let me answer the question. What, 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 Be respectful to our guests. I, I was respectful to the question. I promise you I will get. I answered it and made it. I can answer it to two sides. I'm going to listen to it. Okay. <laughs> One of, one of my books, one of my books, uh, Nation on Trial, written with Ruth Bettina Byrne, it was named the Notable Book of the Year by the New York Times. Do you teach? Industry was acclaimed by the world's leading authority, the Nazi Holocaust. You're not answering my question. Israel is affecting the American values 
and how it is destroying American values, American judiciary, American executive branch, and the legislative branch. And that is more criminal than, than crimes against humanity because that is going to destroy generations after generations. And unfortunately, we have some traitors in our country, uh, some traitors who go, who sacrifice American cause for the, uh, for, for the cause of Israel. My question is that, would you consider sometimes talking about that crime uh, of the state of Israel? With all due respect, that's not a dissenting question. It's out of place now. No, it's not acceptable. You have to respect like people who were here in South Korea to have their say. Go ahead. Uh, first of all, um, you asked several questions throughout your speech. Uh, expecting us to give you honest answers. Mm -hmm. I don't think that we got an honest representation from you. I know we got your beliefs and your feelings, but not an honest, uh, in terms of being in an academic environment. You did not give us a balanced view. You spent an hour and 10 minutes of your time you actually what you built into an industry in terms of espousing what went on in Gaza, etc. In 10 minutes on what was supposed to be the topic tonight, that is the uh, upheaval, political changes in, in, that are occurring in the Middle East. So I don't think we got an honest representation from you of what you, we were led to believe that you were going to be talking about. I'm sure there's a reason for that. But taking the topic that you asked about, that you were supposed to talk about, are you familiar at all with the Middle East Partnership Initiative in the Department of State? Mm -hmm. Yes. I was wondering if you could comment on that, since the funding for that was cut by President Obama. I'm not sure what its relevance is. What so, are you trying to ask me? Okay. The initiative. I asked the question. Oh, if you were familiar with it, that initiative was put forth by the United States to fund programs over the years to enhance and develop democratic reform initiatives throughout the Arab world. And it was cut. I mean, this is the topic we were supposed to be, you were supposed to be talking about well, tonight. I'm not, sure, I, I'm not sure how the talk was advertised, but I felt that the woman who introduced me accurately described what I was going to speak on. So I'm not sure what you're referring to. I've not seen the leaflet. Uh, but I think yours was an accurate description. Yeah, yeah. If you'd like to look at it again, I won't be forensic about it, but I don't think I strayed from what I was introduced to speak on. But let's get to your substantive question. Uh, is the United States promoting democracy in the Middle East? Uh, are US agencies promoting them? We have you know, good evidence. It's not a difficult topic to uh, speak on it, we don't even have to speculate. So we can take the place where the U.S. is concentrated in a very vigorous way to try to promote democracy, namely its democracy efforts in the West Bank. Uh, that's with U.S. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Dayton, and there's been a huge investment of energy to promote democracy there. So again, as rational people do, we should judge by outcomes and results and not by words. That, as I said, is a convention among rational people. So we take the 